welcome back to my channel my name is Leia and this is budget with Leia today we're gonna to be doing my budget with me for my first paycheck of May so let's get right into this video and zoom in okay guys so now that I have zoomed in let's begin so my starting balance for this paycheck is $1,674.07 so that's my starting balance that includes any rollover my paycheck um cash back money for my boyfriend so it's all kind of included into one so let's start off by going over my bills or fixed expenses so my carla may patreon i believe it's going to be six dollars um i signed up for i think the smallest tier currently um i might sign up for a different one i'm not sure yet we'll see let's continue that's six dollars my netflix is sixteen dollars and seventy seven cents my Twitch for this paycheck is $5.40. Uh, $5 um, let's see, my phone is $48. And half of my portion of rent is $2.96. My full rent for me is two, uh, $591. And that is split between four or five other people. That's why it's so low. Otherwise, I probably wouldn't live here because I think the total amount for rent and utilities is like $2,500. But because we share it amongst a bunch of people, it's not that much. Um, and I believe that's all the bills. Yes. Um, so the total for the amount for this bill or for these bills is $372.17. And now that we have that, we can subtract. Minus... 372 gives me $1,301.98. Okay, onto my cash envelopes or uh, variable expenses. So this paycheck, I'm actually going to give myself $105 for groceries. The reason I'm doing that versus my usual like $75 or $100 uh, is because I went into the Target app. And I put everything that I needed to buy for groceries and I looked at the total and then I budgeted for that total. I have not purchased them technically, but I just wanted to see how much it would be. And I originally was going to give myself 100, but the total ended up being like $103 and some change. So I just upped it to 105. Um, I think that is going to be enough for two weeks, at least for me. Um, again, we all share expenses, not only the utilities and rent, but food expenses. So sometimes I'll buy something for my nephew or my family in general um, to cook for them for a few days. And then my sister will do the same other days of the week. So that's what that is. Uh, gas for this paycheck, I'm going to budget 20. And then spending is my usual 60. Eating out, I'm going to budget $30. And then miscellaneous is going to be $5. So the total for all these amounts is $220. So I'm going to subtract the 220 and now my, I'm left with $1,081.90. Uh, $1, and now onto my sinking funds. So some of these won't change and some of these are a little bit higher than others. So Mateo and Isaac are both going to get $25. My car maintenance is just going to get 20 I reached my goal of $1,000 in my car maintenance fund. My next goal is 2000 So now I just need to save another 1000 And hopefully nothing... Hopefully my car doesn't need anything in the next few months while I try and fund this to 2000 Hi, kitty. Um, okay, car insurance. I'm going to put $25. Christmas is going to get 20 And then pets, family, and occasions is just going to get $10. So next up is my savings. Savings is just going to be getting 10. Health, I'm actually going to be putting $130. The reason is I will be getting a therapy session and they have told me that my first session is going to be $130. So I'm just going to add that in right now. And then once I know what the next few sessions are going to be, then I'll budget differently. But as of right now, I'm just going to put that $130. That way I know I have it covered. Um, I do have money in my health envelope, but I don't want to complete it to... I don't want to deplete it to zero exactly. So that's why I put 130. Uh, house is going to get 10. Moving 10. Purchases 10. Tech 10. Actuary 10. Vacation 10. And then new car is not getting anything. 
yeah, not getting anything. And then onto my YouTube or my fun stuff. So YouTube is going to get five, nails five. I completely depleted that envelope, so now it's going to get built back up. Gaming five, Disney five, Black Friday six, and then Halloween five. So um, I already did the math on this specific one just because it's a lot longer. And my sinking funds total is equal to $376. So minus 376 leaves me with $705.90 left to budget. And now onto my savings. That includes my emergency fund and my savings challenges. So this paycheck, I will be budgeting $650 to go to my emergency fund. It was gonna be like $750 or even $800 going to my emergency fund, but um, I took a little bit out to put towards my health envelope. That's kind of where that money came from. I just kind of uh, redistributed that amount. Um, but that's okay. I'm still making great progress to my, to my emergency fund, so I'm not too worried about that. And then my savings challenges, I'm going to budget $55. So this total brings me to $705. So remaining, after I take out from the amount that I had before, was $0.90. Cents. So that right there just stays in my account as a little buffer. There we go, guys. A fairly simple budget. This is what I do at least personally, I know everyone's different. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I'll be seeing you guys next time. Bye!